Hello everyone and welcome back to Arctic Retro and another episode of a mail and donation. This is for September 2021. In this edition I don't have that many items to show you actually, but there are a few goodies uh, like a Commodore 128D and this one which will be the last package I open in this uh, video, so please stay tuned. Here's a packet from China and it says uh, integrated chip. <laughs> so this is something I found on uh, AliExpress, I think. Yeah, there's a bunch of uh, chips and um, yeah, let's open one and see. These are those kits that uh, contains an assortment of uh, different uh, 74 logic chips. I think there's like a 35 in each box and um, yeah hopefully these are uh, legit and not fakes they look new at least so let's see if I can zoom in onto one <laughs> so there it is uh, this is a 74 HC 04 I think it says <laughs> so from time to time when I repair some computer or something I need uh, one one or two generic chips just to uh, yeah, test if some are broken or not and uh, replace if they are and of course uh, it's good to have a collection this is 74 LS 138 so this is for my parts collection Next is uh, this little package, it says, uh, well, Deutsche Post, and uh, it's hard to read, extremely rare tested MicroPal extended basic C, I'm not really sure, don't recollect what I actually have purchased. <laughs> All right, yeah, now I know. <laughs> This is not something I purchased. This is actually an extended basic cartridge for the Texas Instruments TI-99-4A. And if you saw my video about the TI-99 and the Nano PEB, I uh, complained a little bit about not being able to load the programs from uh, floppy disk images because I was missing uh, the extended basic cartridge and uh, <laughs> this was uh, sent to me by uh, Patrick the same guy who uh, sent me uh, the TI 994A uh, at least one of them so um, that's great to have uh, next time I'm gonna do something with the TI 99 thanks a lot next package is this one uh Oh, it's a little bit huge, <laughs> so this needs some uh, power to lift. <laughs> this one was sent to me from uh, Germany and I'm uh, really excited about this one. Uh, this is something I have uh, been on the hunt for for a very long time. And finally it is here, sent through Deutsche Post. And uh, let's see what it is. With the size of the box, it's obviously something uh, a little bigger than normal. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's a lot of uh, newspaper. I think I have to uh, find a bag to put it all in. <laughs> Hopefully it survived the trip from uh, Germany to Norway. So what is this paper actually? It's not newspapers. It uh, <laughs> seems to be pages from uh, some old computer magazine. Rundum versorgt Coral Graphics Suite für 
Mac OS 9 und X. I actually can't speak and uh, read a little German because I had it uh, at school back in the day. All right, so what is it? <laughs> As you can see, it's a computer and uh, it's not any kind of computer. It's uh, ta -ta, Commodore 128D. Yikes, <laughs> I'm really excited because uh, I have wanted this machine uh, for a long time and uh, yeah I actually gathered some parts for it uh, to build it uh, to build up uh, a machine uh, by getting used parts but um, I couldn't find all, all the things I needed but uh, then uh, suddenly this guy from uh, Germany contacted me and uh, said that it, he had uh, one for sale and uh, I actually got it quite cheap uh, to be honest so I'm really excited now it uh, is supposed to be working. Don't know if it uh, still does after the transport. Oh, it's quite heavy beast of a machine. There it is in all its glory and it is looking very nice. A little bit yellowed, but that's uh, of course normal. Keyboard looks uh, quite all right. And uh, the guy who sold me this uh, is uh, Martin. So thanks a lot, Martin. So what's this then in the box? There are two, uh, three ROM chips. Because this machine comes with uh, Jiffy DOS 6 uh, installed and uh, these are the original kernel ROMs for the machine for the C128 and C64 and the 1571. Uh, one floppy disk drive. This is uh, the revision B, which is uh, the metal case, not the plastic. So that's really nice. Uh, all right, I want to test this uh, right away. <laughs> Let's see now, does it work? All right, but of course it does. <laughs> right into Jiffy DOS, Commodore Basic V7. Let's test the 64 mode. Sure enough, that works too. Picture quality looks uh, fairly good. There's some uh, jail bars, but uh, who hasn't seen that on these old machines? And particularly the 128. Oh, uh, and I forgot uh, it actually came with a CPM uh, system disk and uh, some test demo diskette. So let's test if the drive is working. I don't remember the Jiffy DOS commands. <laughs> so, all right, so there's uh, Geos. So of course I went into C64 mode and tried to run this Geos now. Knock, knock, knock. <laughs> All right, so I couldn't get the Geos running. I don't know why, but now I have inserted the CPM floppy disk and it actually auto boots from that. So now it's loading CPM 3.1 on the Commodore 128. Great. Okay, so uh, there's the directory in uh, CPM. And of course I have to try and run a game on this machine. Uh, I can't uh, test it without that, so. Let's see what's on this. All right, so here's the directory Rampage Game Ninja. Let's try Ninja. Because this is uh, Jiffy DOS, it's uh, of course uh, very fast load times. Hey, hey. So this is the last Ninja game. I don't have a joystick uh, right here now. So obviously you can't uh, 
use the keyboard. <laughs> that was a quick test of the C128D and uh, oh boy I'm happy to have one now. <laughs> so I'm gonna explore this one uh, in another video some other time. Here's another little package and this was actually sent to me from uh, my friend Kjell Ove which uh, by the way has his uh, own uh, YouTube channel uh, Koiro Retro Innovations. You should check it out. So what did he send me this time? Alright, this is a prototyping board and uh, some uh, X2 capacitors and uh, these I actually need for uh, the Apple II computer that I got recently to replace the old uh, Rifa paper caps on that machine. Thanks! Another small package from uh, China and it uh, says uh, Untrack Disassembly Maintenance Kit. Alright, so what is it? <laughs> okay, so um, this is a little tools set. So that's uh, a little screwdriver with uh, small bits for uh, fixing um, mobile phones and things like that with uh, very small screws. So uh, handy to have. This little envelope is uh, sent from Norway and uh, this is the new way of uh, buying uh, stamps or postage. You buy online and you get this code that you print on the letter. Let's see what it is. So what we got here, it's a Mouser bag, so somebody bought some components from a Mouser. Maybe you recognize it already or maybe not. <laughs> so it says here on the board, uh, adapter board for Amiga Revision 2. And uh, you have a selector for Super Denise or Denise. And in fact, this is the RGB to HDMI adapter. So this little adapter board has become very popular and uh, it can be used on an Amiga 500 and others. And um, yeah, it converts the RGB video signal to HDMI and it does a very good job at that. So here's the part that's uh, needed for uh, building this and uh, you uh, need a um, Raspberry Pi Zero as well. So these are very small <laughs> surface mount chips and uh, this can be interesting to um, <laughs> solder up. I don't think I have done it with this small uh, component. So uh, yeah, this will be a project for later. So I will probably make a video about uh, building and uh, testing this. All right, the next package is this one, uh, which is uh, sent from Norway and uh, something I bought, I think. Let's see what it is. All right, so you probably see already what this is. <laughs> Not that exciting actually, but uh, yeah, this is something I need from time to time. And uh, it is a package of uh, 3.5 inches uh, floppy disks. Sony and it's unopened. So. All right, the next item is this package here and uh, it's a gift from my friend uh, Ingvar and uh, one of your most loyal Patreons. He's my patron on the top level and also one of my best friends. So um, let's see what he got me today. Mm. <laughs> A t-shirt. What size is it? Yeah, it's just my size. And here it is. Press play on tape. <laughs> it suits you. Not sure if it fits you, but it suits you. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Enjoy it.
All right, the last package in this video is this one and uh, I just got it today actually and it is uh, something I need right away and uh, it is something I purchased uh, on the Norwegian fin.no again. Let's take a look. The box does not tell you what it is. It is not a daylight lamp. <laughs> and the box within the box, and here it is. There's a few manuals and it says um, Tandy 200. All right, so that's the Tandy 200. It is actually a computer, a portable computer, and it's a quite old one <laughs> and uh, quite uh, dirty, as you can see. Oh man, this is, has seen better days. Yuck. But besides the dirt, it actually looks to be in uh, all right condition. I don't have a clue if it's working or not. The seller would not uh, give me any information about the state uh, because he said he hadn't the power supply, uh, which is uh, true, I guess. <laughs> but it uses a regular 12 volt input with uh, those uh, barrel contacts. So uh, it should be pretty easy to find a replacement. And I think I have one also. And the reason I need this uh, right away is because I wanted something for the Septandi campaign that's going on on the YouTube uh, right now. So uh, yeah, I better get started with this one then. So I'm not gonna reveal uh, anything more about this machine and uh, you have to wait until uh, my Septandi video comes out. Uh, if it comes out, if this is a total uh, failure, uh, doesn't work at all and I can't figure out how to fix it and it might not be a video at all I don't know we'll see all right thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this video and as usual a special thanks to my patreons see you bye bye